I love you so much. Oh, God, I, I love you, so you much. Ellen. This is your first time on the show, but your tweet has been on the show before. I have. Yeah. I, I, I told them about a tweet I had that you showed, like, I don't know how many years ago it was. It was like 2013, was something it? like that. Yeah, so we showed your, your tweet on the show. <laughs> so sad, America ranks 25th in the world in math. At least we're still in the top 10. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Um, very funny. Um, all right, so, so this short film, uh, and congratulations, winning the Oscar. Uh, it's so well-deserved. Thank you. First African-American to win in that category, too. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so tell everybody, uh, everyone should see this film. Everyone should see this film, but tell everyone about it. Yeah, so Two Distant Strangers is the story of essentially a black man trying to get home to his dog. And it sounds simple, but you can complicate that in, in many ways in America when you're telling a story about America. And so essentially he runs into a cop and the cop ends up killing him and he wakes up and the day starts all over again. And he finds himself going through this loop trying to figure out how to break the cycle of you know, running into this cop and trying to change his behavior and do things differently and having the same end result. And so that's kind of the story we, we, we tried to tell and to to demonstrate how there's nothing we can really do to stop it from happening and that the actual solution lies beyond black people. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's such a, so you wrote this in five days. Yeah. But, but first of all, we should say that today is the one year anniversary of the murder of George Floyd. Yeah. Um, and you got the idea um, while you were protesting about that. Yeah, you know, we were out last summer um, protesting and marching and just kind of like absorbing the energy that the world had kind of taken on once he had been killed. And it was in doing that and repeating that cycle every day and internalizing the feelings you feel when you hear a new name, Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd. Uh, as a black person, you go through this cycle of emotions to process these things. And I found myself going through that cycle for these three different people and they were overlapping and it just felt like, like living the worst version of Groundhog Day. And when I had that thought, it was something that just stuck with me and I feel like I had to do something with it. Yeah, but I mean, you can have that thought. The, the, the way you executed it, it's, it's so well done. Thank you. Is this the first thing you've directed? Yeah, this is the first, yes, yeah, the first thing I've directed. And you wrote it in five days? Yeah, five days, yeah. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's a, it's a must see. I mean, and it's only, it's a short, so it's only 29, 30 29 minutes, minutes, 29 yeah. minutes, so there's no excuse to not watch it. It's on Netflix, and it's, it's a really beautifully done educational tool for everyone. Um, and so you're, you're uh, nominated for an Oscar, which is, that's enough, really, yeah, right. to be nominated. For everyone your, says that's the win. Yeah, it right. is. I mean, for, to direct something your very first time, and you're nominated, and then they call your name, and what is that moment like? Did you really think you had a... A chance? Was there somebody else you thought was going to get it? You know, I thought, I thought we had a good shot. I did not know. My fear was always that this film is about a subject matter that's so polarizing to people. Will it be embraced for all of its parts? The technicality, the story, the emotion, the, 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 the work that we put into it. And could people see beyond their opinion on whether what they feel about the subject matter to look at the art form and, the, and what we created? And so when we got nominated, I, I had a moment where I was like, is this the best we can do with this story? Because there were other stories that weren't as heavy and that people were writing about and saying, you know, Two Distant Strangers is so heavy, but this other movie might be the one that, you know, people actually vote for because it's easier to watch. It's more yeah. palatable and it's not as confronting as our movie was. And so I was, I was very nervous about it. Yeah. Well, it's definitely, a, yeah, I mean, the subject matter is polarizing and it's, it's but I didn't find it, I found it difficult to watch putting myself in the shoes of a, of a, of a young black man in America right now. Yeah. Like, and how, and you, you really see what that feels like. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I thought you did a great job because there's a, another story there. And you're also, it's like, you just want the dog, <laughs> yeah. you just want him to get to the dog. Get you know, I love you that want. you did that because everyone loves dogs and everybody's yeah. like, oh, please get to the dog. Yeah, it's, it's such a common thing to, want to just go home to something or someone who loves you. Yeah. And for us, you hear time and time again how those stories are impeded by things that should not be, in the, for reasons they shouldn't be impeded for, whether it's being stopped in, a, uh, in your car for thinking you're the wrong person or being stopped walking down the street for thinking you're the wrong person. And it just felt like the easiest way for this story to connect beyond 
the color of your skin was to connect it to something that we all want to do is just get home safely. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's so beautifully done. And I, again, it's, uh, it's called Two Distant Strangers. It's uh, available on Netflix. And uh, congratulations. Thanks, Ellen. All right, we'll be back.